hello, hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your midweek Wednesday reading. Sagittarius, this reading is from the 21st of September through the 30th of September. Now listen, Sagittarius, we are transitioning towards this new moon. I know everybody is getting excited. So you can set those new, you know, those new intentions of things you want to manifest during the new cycle. But we want to make sure we finish out this cycle strong, okay? We want to make sure we finish out strong. I'm sure there's some things you said you wanted to manifest and what usually happens towards the end of a cycle here comes a curveball the curveball is going to be libra so i'm going to help you all get into it we're not talking about any libras you know we're talking about the sign libra that is ruled by venus that is ruled by venus matter of fact i put up a video on the uh second channel and what Venus looks like, uh, what, what Venus means, and also what it looks like when it's retrograde, right? So even though Venus is not retrograde, but it's going to help you to understand just uh, the power of the planet Venus. So go check it out. Go check it out. All right, let's, here we go. Here we go, Sagittarius. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The sooner you part ways with something that that almost made you feel powerless, right? It felt like it took away, like you like you felt stupid about something or like you felt like you weren't intelligent in making a decision. As soon as you part ways with that feeling that, hey, that friend that I've uh, parted ways with or they may have parted ways with me, that job I may have left or the job may have fired me or whatever, that romantic relationship for platonic, whatever kind, whatever I had to part ways with to make my universe a lot more pleasurable, and where I'm operating in agape love and I feel like I've woken up in heaven in my own universe, hey, God said, part ways with it because that's when things are going to start moving real fast for you. You got to remember that we were, this whole month was about adapting. We had the first quarter moon in Sagittarius, in your sign, Sagittarius. That's about adapting, like keeping yourself inspired to move forward jupiter that planet of expansion then we had the full moon in pisces right pisces is ruled by neptune and jupiter right that's what you and pisces share in common jupiter so just believing in yourself believing in expansion sometimes expansion doesn't look good sagittarius sometimes it looks like people walking out of your life sometimes it looks like getting fired by a job sometimes it looks like somebody handing you divorce papers but it's because God is saying, I gave you all kinds of clues and you kept trying to adapt because your default is to adapt. But God said, I want what's best for you, Sagittarius. So if somebody left your life, praise God. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way at all. It's praise God when people enter your life and when they exit your life, everything has a season, right? And so you don't always need to know why situations ended. All you need to know is, hey, I need to get back on my throne. I'm the judge and jury of my universe, right? Here's the high priestess card right here. Somebody is, like I said, parting ways with something and your intuition, it's like all of a sudden your intuition is, is, is extremely heightened right now. Like, wow. And so that energy is also helping you with your creativity. You're starting to feel better. You're starting to feel like, wow, you know what? At first I was sad. At first I was hurt when something left my life, but I'm actually inspired to create more. So whether you left them or they left you, somebody is inspired by something, right? That's why I said you don't have to be sarcastic when people leave your life. You, oh, yeah, they were phony anyway. That's all of that is low vibrating energy. Instead, it, let it inspire you to write a book. Somebody, somebody, there's so many people have written autobiographies about how dysfunctional their childhood was. They're not trying to hurt people. They're simply saying, hey, I need to heal. So sometimes what that looks like is changing the names, changing the gender, putting yourself as third person. I know someone who went through X, Y, and Z, and you could be talking about yourself because you're not intentionally trying to hurt people. You're saying, hey, I need to heal, and this is the way I need to get it out. Your energy is directed outward. So instead of complaining about it and blowtorching people around you because you don't know what to do with that energy, you said, okay, I'm, I'm starting to become inspired. Watch how quickly things, watch how quickly these creative ideas come to you, right? Plus, new love is coming across somebody's life. Here we have the Page of Cups. New love is coming across somebody's life. So again, new love could be a friendship. It could be an, a, a strictly platonic, you know, new new friend, new girlfriend, new guy friend or whatever. And this could be strictly platonic. But it can also develop into love, like a, a romantic love for somebody. So that person could be younger at heart. They may be year, like a couple of years younger than you are, but they may be young at heart. You know, and and give you, you know, kind of give you what you need in relationships. Like 
and an understanding that if you're, you know, if you're cracking jokes or whatever, you're not trying to be mean spirited, right? You're just, that's just how you, that's just how you communicate. Like they just understand you in that sense, right? So again, that's what I'm saying. Whoever left your life, you never know what's going on in some people's lives. Some people could have left your life because they got tired of people projecting their hurt onto them and they could have been at a point where you know what i'm just tired of being hurt whether a person is joking or not we never know what other people have gone through in their lives some people have literally gone through hell and you look at them on the outside they don't look anything like what they've been through just like you you don't look like what you've been through right so this is a time where like i said before whoever left your life wish them the best but keep on moving forward Get you some rose quartz, which I'm going to talk a little bit about, about the new moon ritual. But again, get you some rose quartz, forgive them, send them off in love. And I'm talking about agape love. If you happen to see them out in the street, it's hello and goodbye. That's it. You're not being shady, messy, none of that kind of stuff. It's like, you know what? I'm feeling good about my life. Since, since God cleared the path for me, my creativity has skyrocketed, right? Now I'm coming up with book ideas. I'm writing music. I'm connecting with this person. I'm holding a, 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 a Zumba class. I got this going on. I got that going on and all of it. That creativity is earning you money, the energy of money, right? So yeah, wish people the best when they move on from your life. Here we had the 10 of pentacles, the two of swords, the queen of cups, the ace of pentacles, the six of cups, the two of pentacles. Yeah, we got more money coming across your path, right? You're learning how to balance out your daily affairs when it comes to money. And also God is connecting you with some people where you're making an impact on your community and the world at large. So some of you all may have websites up. Some of you all may be on, like I said, YouTube or Instagram or something where you're making more money. The energy of money is very attracted to you. Also, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So big money is coming across your path. Again, take your blindfolds off and look at how you got to see things from a different perspective. You may, in your mind, start focusing just on you, making it 100% about you. But this person divorced me or this person cut me off. They're no longer my friend or, you know, this person, whatever, right? But when you take the blindfolds off, God is going to show you a different perspective. Maybe they were at their threshold of pain. Maybe they were hurting. Maybe you don't know something could have really bad happened to them, right? And so we don't know sometimes if we say or do things that's going to trigger somebody else's pain. So if somebody left your life and they didn't give you any explanation, close it out. Like I said, close out this cycle. Close it strong. Finish strong. Close it out. Forgive them. Operate in a spirit of love and move on so that God can send new energy your way. See, some people are still waiting on things to come their way that they hear promised in these readings because they haven't closed it out. They still hanging on to that person was phony and they did this to me and they did that to me. God is like, no, release it in love. Release it in love so I can continue blessing you. Let's keep this blessing thing moving forward. Like leave all of that low vibrating energy behind you. Show some compassion, right? Here we have Queen of Cups, the same compassion you want from other people. Show other people compassion. That's what God is saying. Show other people compassion. This right here, Six of uh, Cups, God is saying toss out all of that negative, low vibrating, toxic energy that was poured into your cup of water. Water is your emotions and your creativity. Toss all of that out and I need you to operate in childlike faith because I'm telling you, I got some good things coming across your path. Either you're going to be going into business with somebody or romantically linked with somebody, but the two of you all are going to absolutely change. You're going to shake up some things in the atmosphere. Seriously, somebody's shaking up some things. So like I said, whoever left your life or you left their life, wish them the best and move on. I'm telling you, I'm, speak, I'm speaking from personal experience. When you take the high road, and I'm not talking about being phony and pretend like stuff don't hurt because we are human beings and things do hurt. But when I'm telling you, if somebody has hurt you that bad, it's better to cut them off so that you can heal. And however long that healing takes, sometimes it takes a week, sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes forever. However long it takes for you to heal so that you can beautify your universe within so you can have a clear pathway in your universe within. So that's the energy that you're sending out to the universe is that I'm at peace. And you and you can mean it without any, not, not a tinge of sarcasm in your voice. I'm at peace. I absolutely love my life. I don't have any, I don't have any beasts with anybody. I don't hate anybody. None of that. I forgive everybody. Now that doesn't mean that everybody has access to my universe, but I've forgiven everybody, including the ones that wronged me and hurt me. Yeah, death.
Yeah, something is over permanently. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What is more stinging than death? The death of a job, the death of a marriage, the death of a physical body being laid to rest and their spirit has ascended. What's more stinging than death when you've gone through a mourning period, right? Uh, you know, your feelings range from wanting to burn somebody with a blowtorch, meaning that you wanted to get them back. You wanted to expose them. You wanted to tell everyone, you wanted to plaster their face all over social media. Sometimes it looks like, you know what? I made my peace with it. So I don't wish anybody any bad at all. So somebody went through a range of emotions about some things when something ended, when something ended, right? Yeah. So let's keep it moving forward. So again, I see a lot of good, wonderful things coming your way, Sagittarius. Just keep your vibrations high and continue finishing strong. We are not at this last quarter. We are, we are not at this new moon phase yet. We are transitioning through it, right? We're, we're So you may be still feeling a, a little bit of, you know, you trying to adapt to Mercury, which is currently retrograde. I, I really encourage you all go watch that Mercury retrograde video on the second channel. The link is below. But you could be still challenged with a little bit of Mercury retrograde and, and pull backwards or, you know, the, the, your moods and emotions are pulling you back to the past and, and desperately trying to move forward to the Venus lifestyle, the goddess of love, right? I do have a retrograde video on that as well on the second channel, but we got some more coming up. All right. Don't let pride get in the way. Don't be stuck on, you know being prideful and coming off as arrogant. Like I said before, vibrating low. You don't, that's not the energy you want to give off. And we're not talking about any Leos that sign Leo came up. Leo is a fire sign like you are, but you don't want to come across as jealous. You don't want to come across as dogmatic and prideful. You don't want to come across as inflexible because this, you don't want to come across as arrogant. Whatever happened and something ended, release it in love. I'm serious. Release it in love. That means if you got to cut them off, even if you have kids with them, they don't have the same level of access that they once did. So if they're not talking about the kids, all other conversation is off the table. If you don't have kids with them, even better. Cut them, their family, and everybody else off so that you can heal. You don't even want third-party information about them right now, about what's going on in their lives and them having access to yours. Nope. I need to heal so that I'm not better. I'm actually better, Right? Yes. And so, like I said, however long that looks like, sometimes you don't need to cut people off forever. Sometimes you say, you know what? I just, I need about three, four, five years away from certain people. I do. I need, I need some time to go out here and see what's out in this world to kind of sort of change my mindset. Right? Sing. Who's a singer? But like I said, somebody's going to be singing a different song, right? Singing a different song. Something is over. Somebody's going to feel like they're more in harmony and at peace with themselves. You're going to either meet your person in business and or a romantic relationship. You know, we, we've we heard the term cuffing season, right? But it is not even ironic that Libra season is coming up. <laughs> and Libra is a divine masculine sign like you all are, but it's an air sign, but it's ruling planet. It's feminine energy, right? And so it's a planet of love and pleasure. And so, like I said, aesthetically, somebody's going to be making their universe within very aesthetically pleasing. And because your energy is directed outward, Sagittarius, that's the energy that you're going to be putting out into the universe that I'm at peace with myself. I love myself. I'm at peace with myself. Anybody who is comes into my life that has been properly vetted. Hey, welcome. If, um, if you leave my life, it was nice knowing you. I wish you the best. And that's it. But the door is closed for however long I want it to be closed, right? All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. 10, 10. I am patient. That's right. Somebody's going to be patient with this healing process. Keep your thoughts positive, see? And be patient as everything is working out for your, good, your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. Yeah. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Friday. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to... Subscribe to the second channel. The link is below. Bye.